mine. I'm really excited. Uh, yeah, I did not wear a red shirt. That's it, I guess. Just a quick shout out, these shirts, uh, Shabbat dinner shirts were designed by Mark Grabner, who's sitting in the audience right there, so thanks for well, I'll just start off with one question down the line. Uh, what was the inspiration for each of your wonderful short films? Well, I was working on a TV series about being gay and growing up in Los Angeles, being about 14 and sticking around uh, for your parents, and so when I wanted to make a short film, I decided to take a scene from that, and so I just uh, built something around that. Uh, the guy who did Shabbat uh, uh, Dinner, that was awesome. I loved it. Thank you. <laughs> I just wanted to say that I love the way you captured the nervousness and the anxiety that you do teenagers or young boys, boys who are experiencing. I totally remember and relate to that. When there would be a uh, guest you know, from over the house and you still socialize with this kid and you know, all the time. <laughs> Thank you. At, at one point, we uh, the sound guy told us that he could hear the uh, heartbeat of a guy playing Borgata. <laughs> so they were actually pretty nervous. <laughs> Hi. First of all, I want to congratulate you, all four of you, very, very good movies. And uh, Shabbat dinner, it was amazing, really, how you captured the nervousness at the moment. I think we all feel related and went back to our youth and childhood and felt amazing. And I wanted to ask you, you and the, um, along with Mr. Carter, which I thought was beautiful too, at first I was like, how can that little boy be in love with that old man? But uh, you did a great job of explaining that. How do you approach those actors who are so young? And did, how did you ask for gay actors or do you don't ask for that? I just Tell them, you know, I don't know if you're straight, you think about a girl, but you're in love with an old man. How do you work with those kids? I mean, to do such a great job, all three kids in those two movies were amazing. Thank you. you know, the, uh, when we were doing auditioning, the nervousness in a lot of the actors was very authentic. We, we had some actors who had to like, take a pause um, because that they, I think it's like a, it's an internalized shared trauma among a lot of gay men, and so they were reliving that when they were reading those lines, but um, mostly I, I tried to get them to the right point and then back off. So most of the scenes you saw there, the first, the, that scene where they were um, they were making out took about, it was the first scene we shot, the second scene or something, it took like four or five hours to film. And what you see is mostly from like the middle to end part. And there was a moment when it just really clicked and the energy was in there and all I wanted to do was say like, this is perfect, this is perfect, and I was just like, don't say that because you'll kill it. <laughs> so I, I was just like, do it again. Do it again. One more time for I just wanted to thank you all for using really unconventionally attractive people, and uh, just uh, throughout this entire um, Look at <laughs> uh, casting. Well, you can go ahead and laugh, you can go ahead and laugh, but I'm just saying, like, uh, you for the Shabbat dinner, you allowed the actor to actually have pimples, which I think. You know, looking back on ten years ago, that probably wouldn't have been the case. Um, but just, I, I think it's really great, and um, you know, look forward to seeing you working over there. Thank you. All right, time for one more question. Anybody else? <laughs> Um, what would you say to somebody who's aspiring to be in your shoes right now? That. Just go out and make a film. Uh, it's it's really uh, you know, and if if you there's something you don't know about how to make a film, look online, um, go to film classes, ask people, watch films. But but really, in the end, it's it's like an entrepreneurial thing. Just like I said, just do it. I, I don't know. Just do it and someone will wow. uh, Just do it and God will speak to you. But I don't have any like formal training.
game and started like I was an actor and then I made like internet videos and then I just got more into it and um, you just do it. You have find a friend or put it at a Craigslist. I shot mine in a day. It was just my friends calling my friends to come over and do something. So just really figure out what you want and you know go towards it. Um, I would probably have taken a pee before the Q and A. <laughs> <laughs> I also think it's uh, you should um, keep keep it personal. Keep your stories really personal, because um, then that will make you feel the passion behind you. Keep, uh, keep it going. Yeah, I agree. It, it, it's really all about the passion and about the script. If you don't have a script, you don't have anything. But I think that if you have a good script, chances are you're going to attract people who uh, might be very good and very, uh, and actually willing to uh, work for free or next to nothing, and which is a major asset. It also, it also probably gonna cost you twice as much as you think, and you'll be twice as tired as you think, but it's very, very rewarding. <laughs>